Hi there. Welcome to this week's edition of The Gist, the past week in space in under five minutes. Please remember to subscribe and give us a like to help us grow this new channel. There was an explosion under Booster 7 as it was being prepared for static fire. The cause was possibly a fuel-rich environment that caused the detonation. The damage appears to be minor, but Booster 7 was moved back to the high bay to have its 33 Raptor engines inspected. NASA released the first full-color images taken by the Webb telescope, and they are stunning. Captured in near-infrared light, this image of the Carina Nebula reveals previously hidden areas of starbirth. Webb was able to detect and measure the gases on the exoplanet WASP 96b, the most detailed infrared exoplanet spectrum ever collected. In this image of the Southern Ring Nebula, we can clearly see a white dwarf star. The topmost galaxy in the Stefan's Quintet Galaxy Cluster has a supermassive black hole 24 million times the mass of the Sun. Webb Telescope produced the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. The same image on the left was taken by the Hubble Telescope. SpaceX launches its 25th resupply mission to the International Space Station, carrying the Earth's surface mineral dust source investigation instrument as well as supplies. The climate instrument will be attached outside the space station to measure the mineral content of the world's desert regions, which are the sources of global dust storms that can impact climate and weather around the world. After a routine liftoff, the booster landed on a short fall of Gravitas, completing its fifth flight. Capstone completed its planned trajectory correction maneuver called DCN1C, sending it on its way to the moon, arriving on November 13. Rocket Lab successfully launched the classified NROL-162 satellite for the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office, the first of two back-to-back -back NRO missions. The next mission is NROL-199 on July 22nd. Excitement as Europe launches Vega C for the first time with complete mission success. Atop the rocket is Larry's 2 and 6 CubeSats. Larry's 2 will measure the frame-dragging effect, a distortion of space-time, caused by the rotation of a massive body such as Earth, as predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity. Finally, we learned that Dmitry Rogozin has been replaced as Roscosmos Director General by a presidential decree. His successor is Yuri Borisov. Borisov previously served as CEO of Roscosmos and Deputy Prime Minister of Russia. That's all for now. Please subscribe and like, and see you back again next week.